Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Monday. We do these videos every Monday where I just let you know the things I've got, I've got going on and stuff. Currently working on, I believe last week I told you I was working on a video about posture. Changed my mind about that. It's a video that's going to be about self-improvement in general. Why do, why try to improve? And sort of a, because uh, I come across articles and videos where people are like, why are you always, why is there ever, everyone always talking about improvement? Just relax, stop worrying about it. Like there's sort of like a pushback because there's a lot of like self-improvement stuff out there on the blogs and on the Twitters and on the YouTubes. And so this, this video is sort of a response to that and also sort of a just explanation as to why I have been doing so many self-improvement things on the channel. Um, but it's mostly going to be jokey. Some clones are going to show up. Lazy clone is going to show up. Workhorse clone is going to show up. Possibly uh, deep voice lady hands clone is going to show up. And uh, it's going to be a fun, good time. Um, so I'm working on that video. That should come out, I think, this week. I, I don't know for sure. Whenever I get it done, I'm writing it right now. And the meditation is still going strong. It's I'm, I think I'm better at it now. I mean, I feel like it's a very personal thing and you 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 only go by your own standards and i i think i have found a good relationship with meditation the way i want it to be i don't know i didn't i didn't really consult any professionals about it i just kind of did it myself and just tried it over and over until i figured out what works for me and right now um usually later at night like before i'm going to bed i'll do it but sometimes in the middle of the day and like, or I'll wake up in the middle of the night. Middle of last night, I woke up. Often I will wake up and not be able to fall back asleep. My mind will be thinking about the stuff I gotta get done or whatever. So I'll sit up in bed, rested against the back the headrest, and uh, just meditate for a while. And lately, I think I haven't been I haven't been timing it, which has also helped because then there's like no pressure. And but I think it's probably going about 15 to 20. 15 to 30 minutes and some somewhere in there is how long I'm meditating and it's fine like early on I was having trouble and I would have to I'd have to stop I'd get anxious I'd be like I gotta this has got to be over how long do I have to sit here but now it's very comfortable and I notice a definite change in my thought patterns and my mood throughout the process and then when I'm done I'm much more calm my mind is not racing not thinking so like jumping from subject to subject I can focus. It really, really does help once I've figured out how to do it properly. And the way I do it is I sit there, I listen, I focus on all the sounds that are going on around me and take note of them and just be aware of them. Like when I sat up in the middle of the night last night and I started focusing, I noticed I could hear birds like very prevalently outside, which I didn't even know was happening before I started meditating. And, uh, just sitting there, taking note, listening to the fan, listening to random noises, and then like focusing on my breathing, like uh, how my body, my, my body moves as I breathe, and just trying to notice any any parts of me that I have that are tense, like muscles that are tense that I didn't even realize were tense, and trying to loosen them, and then and then I focus on body parts. The, the body scan, which is a method of meditation. Start at the top of the head, think about the top of the head, go down to the ears, to the shoulders, to the arms, all the way down, all the bits, even the naughty bits. Sorry, I mentioned that. Oh, this is gonna, this video is gonna get flagged now. Um, and just think about, uh, just foc the act of focusing on that really, really easily just clears the mind. Then I'm, I stop thinking about anything else, and it's so comfortable. And that's usually when I, if I'm, if I need sleep, that's when I get tired and I will want to go to sleep. But otherwise, it's just calming. And it's, it makes a lot of sense that that's what you do because wherever you are and whenever you meditate, you're always going to have your body with you, unless you can uh, disembody yourself and float around like a ghost. If that's true. You need to let me know how to do that, because that sounds really cool. Um, but it's working really well, and I think I, I'm, I'm most, almost definitely will continue meditating on a regular basis, or as regular basis as I care to, 
from from now on and i i think i enjoy it a lot actually i think but if i have it in my head that i have to do it then it's not going to be as enjoyable only when i like feel like i the need to do it which is kind of happening more often than i thought it would um what else is going on moving we are moved in we moved all our stuff from our old house we lived in DeKalb, Illinois. I don't know if I ever said that publicly. Uh, we lived in DeKalb, which is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, to me, anyway. Kind of is just like... Uh, yeah, it's like this this college town that's just like... There's like nothing around it for, for many... In, in many directions. Like small towns here and there. Um, and we enjoyed it. It was comfortable. Uh, and... Um, I was able to focus on work because we didn't like, we didn't go out very much. We didn't really know very many people in DeKalb. Um, and it was nice, but now we are moving. We have moved our stuff over to Madison, Wisconsin in the house, but we're not, we're like counters are being replaced right now. So we're not fully moved in. I think we will actually fully officially be moved into our new house tomorrow. And then, so ne oh, from all the videos from that point on, unless we're visiting my parents, we'll, which we're in my parents' basement right now, we'll be there. And, um, sorry, I dropped you. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to live in our new house. One other thing I wanted to talk about, I have been trying to optimize my productivity in a way that, like, using software and apps and things lately because I've real I've noticed so many problems with the way that I my workflow is I use the browser the internet browser a lot I'm now finally breaking out of the internet browser because I'm noticing how cumbersome like tab browsing is just like opening tabs doing this that because I would I would do my my writing in D Google Docs I would the calen Google Calendar check my email and it's like a lot of the Google stuff in the browser and then you click to do new tabs, and then you, you just suddenly have tons of tabs open. So I've, I'm using a tab management app called Toby, not a sponsor, which is really helpful for managing tabs. But now I'm also uh, looking at um, software that's just native to the computer. Uh, the, doing the Apple video actually kind of inspired this. I'm start, like, I, I talked a lot about what Apple can do versus what Android PC, whatever can do. And... I dis I realized I really haven't dug that deeply into what Apple actually what I could do with Apple if I could use the the system itself rather than the Google browser, and so I I got an app for the Gmail, got an app for stop texting me, for the uh, for Trello which I use for productivity stuff. I got uh, uh, Hangouts in the top bar rather than going to Gmail to do to use Hangouts. I've got a calendar that isn't outside the browser. I, I have everything outside the browser. I'm using Pages to type up stuff instead of Google Docs, the Mac program. And so far, and Todoist for like to do like keeping track of my tasks for the day, which I've never really used in earnest. And so far, it's working fantastically. My life is better that I now I don't have to like use the browser Google Chrome interface interface or any browser interface. To just like click through stuff internet style I can I can call things up with like one click and not have to be and, and every time I would use the browser I would be distracted I'd want to open up a Twitter tab or a Facebook tab or a YouTube tab and check the comments or whatever I realized I was doing that way 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 too much and I'm not doing it at all now because I, when I go to the thing I need to do I'm going directly to the thing I need to do no distractions I'm doing things with intention a lot more because I'm using apps. <laughs> it's this is like a s stupid uh, modern problem uh, that I have th of just being distracted. But now I, I think I'm, I'm I'm fixing it. If you're using if you find yourself using tabs and browsers a lot, you need to bust out of that. There's got to be a better whether it's a Mac or a PC or whatever. There's a, there's apps you can use. Go for it, my friend. Or if you're already doing it. Call me stupid for taking so long. Please. Thank you. Hope you have a good day. Look out for my self-improvement video coming up sometime soonish. And 
I do these videos every weekday on Patreon if you want to support me there. And look out for my new house coming up. We're going to do a house tour. That's going to be my next, my following video. It's going to be the house tour, and then it's going to be the meditation um, video next month. So, yeah. Woo!